everybody, Gina Mizell here alongside Danny Moran, back from a bye week and at Oregon State practice. The Beavers take on Arizona Saturday afternoon in Tucson and it was a defensive availability day. We talked to Kalani Sataki and a lot of different players and coaches and really one of the big topics of conversation is after a weird scheduling quirk where they faced two power teams in Michigan and Stanford, now we're finally going to see this defense against a spread offense, which is what they're designed to do. Um, how do you think that impacts things moving forward, especially after Sataki was not very uh, happy with the defensive performance against Stanford. He wasn't, and he basically admitted that this is not a team that we're equipped to stop. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, he stressed today he's not saying anything about being dissatisfied with the players he has. He mm -hmm. thinks he can win with them, but just that the current group is not in a, in, a, in a position to face those power teams like Stanford. But neither are a lot of defenses, as Arizona showed, you know, <laughs> when they allowed 55 points. Uh, I think it has the potential to uh, meaning the defense to do a better job against Arizona, but a lot is in the quarterback situation right now. Is it not a new Solomon going to play? Is it going to be Gerard Randall? Uh, Arizona's just kind of struggled for the past two weeks and they've been kind of out of sorts. So it's kind of hard to even say at this point, what are they going to look like, let alone how is Oregon State going to be able to stop them? Right. It's been interesting. You asked Sataki about the not just the uncertainty of quarterback this week, but really that's been a thing with Oregon State through three of their four games of the season or three of their five games of the season. And you look at San Jose State was playing two, actually ended up playing three guys. Obviously uh, Stanford with Kevin Hogan, his ankle injury, which Satake said sure looked fine to me right. <laughs> on that Friday night game. But um, it sounds like in talking to guys, they don't really care who plays. They don't, they don't think the offense is going to change much. And they've now seen enough of Randall on film that they feel like they can adequate, adequately prepare for both of them. This is a situation where both those guys run. Um, Solomon's obviously a more accurate passer. He's I think, the only guy in the Pac-12 to have not thrown an interception at right. this point. Um, whereas Randall's a little more spotty with his accuracy, but has broken out, you know, multiple touchdown runs of over 50 yards. Mm -hmm. So I mean, he's got big play potential, even if he struggled, you know, against the first two defenses he's seen. So I think, yeah, it's a situation where they have to prepare for the starter, and you might as well because that's the better player. Right. So you got to, you know, prepare for all bases, and you can't just say, okay, well, this guy can't throw that well, so we're gonna not worry about. It pass coverage as much this week. Right, and of course Arizona's going to throw out a ton of receivers. It's going to be really big for those linebackers in space to make plays. Nickelback's going to be a key position. I'll be writing about Devin Chappelle and his role early or later on this week. And yeah, just kind of a unique test for this Oregon State defense in Tucson on Saturday afternoon. So for Danny Moran, I am Gina Mizell. Oregon State practices again on Wednesday. Offensive coaches and players will be available. But until then, keep it on OregonLive.com. Read the Oregonian every day and we will catch you next time.